It's a picture from the past, a team of 12 horses and a small wagon train plodding across the vast prairie, a slow journey toward a distant destination. It's the way the settlers came so many years ago, and it's the way Jay and Carol Frank, along with their family, are traveling to Minot for the Centennial Parade. Well, we uh, decided to go to Minot because my dad is one of the pioneers around Minot. He was born at the St. Carl Post Office, and at that time there was no Minot. The travelers range in age from 2 to 80, and they all share a common passion. We just like to ride horse. <laughs> the family left their Douglas area home at 9.30 this morning. Their goal for the first day, 28 miles, an eight or nine hour journey by wagon, a taste of living history for the children on the trip. I learned the kids uh, what the uh, people years ago, 100 years ago did. Uh, we're riding up here, we know where we're going, but when they went, they didn't know where they was going, so they had a lot more obstacles than we have. And uh, just to give them an idea, is what their forefathers went through, you know, and their grand, great-grandparents. So that's mainly why we're doing it. Once in Max, the wagon train will link up with two riders from Wilton and a team of mules from Grassy Butte. Together, following the highway, the caravan will slowly make its way to Minot to participate in the Centennial Parade on Saturday. It's a journey that links the past and present for our transportation-oriented society. An old wagon train, symbolizing where we came from, traveling along a modern highway, symbolizing where we've gone. Keith Darnay reporting.